the threat is real it's it's and it's growing okay and it can affect you personally so everybody's got a responsibility every single person hey travis you uh heard anything interesting in the news lately like i don't know maybe about costa rica a whole country getting hacked yeah i know incredible wasn't it they said that they had it was conti is the it's a russian-based hacker group took out their ability to collect taxes uh shut down their import export i think they were doing things on uh like <laughs> pen and paper they just got completely wiped and then the group said uh, if you don't pay the ransom we want they're trying to get the people to overthrow the government so uh yeah, that's a pretty, uh, pretty massive, uh, you know, ransomware event. And it's, it's, to me, that's just entirely unprecedented. And um, we should go over it. I've got an article here from Vice we can look at. So the article says, ransomware gang hacks Costa Rica, asks residents to overthrow the government. The notorious hacking gang Conti hacked the Costa Rican government and is encouraging citizens to protest their government's non-payment of a ransom and says they should overthrow the government if it doesn't pay up. Last week, Costa Rica's president, Rodrigo Chavez, declared a state of emergency after the hack. The ransomware attack, according to the country's government, affected the Ministry of Finance and that there are ongoing attacks according to the official state of emergency declaration. This week, the Conti gang posted a new message on its official website, taunting Costa Rica and encouraging protest. It says in quotes, Conti is primarily a community of people who understand information security, and we believe that we understand it very well, the hackers wrote, asking the Costa Rican government to pay the ransom so that their problems will go away. Why not just buy a decryption key? This way, <laughs> why not just pay the ransom? This all goes away. So that's what yeah. they're planning on doing, huh? That was a read. That was a read. It was a long read, but it's an entertaining one. Because really? I mean, and, and, and it says here, 600 gigs, more than 600 gigs of government data has been posted online along with this threat. So... It, are cyber threats real? Is cybersecurity an issue? Is this something that businesses or governments and or governments should be taking seriously? I think, I think it's a pretty clear answer. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here's what I want to point out from the article too, right? So Conti or not Conti, uh, Chavez is saying, Hey, this is the fault of my predecessor. And he's kind of blaming the administration of the past. Uh, whatever, right? I don't want to get involved in that. But my point is, is that his claim is that they didn't spend enough money and didn't pay enough attention to this attack. And that's why they're where they are. Well, well I know he's right about, about that part, right? Is that they didn't spend enough money and pay enough attention because they are in the situation they're in. Now, whose fault that is? I don't know, right? I don't know anything about the Costa Rican government and how it operates. But the point is, is that if you don't take your security seriously, if you don't spend the money that you ought to on it, this is what can happen. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it can happen. It can happen to anybody. It's happening to this entire country now. Uh, one of the things I read is that they weren't able to um, collect taxes as a result of this. Did you see that? They couldn't actually hmm. claim, you know, collect taxes from their citizens as a result? Yeah. And, and we, like we all know, we all know right how... Here. We all know how governments don't really care too much about, uh, you know, collecting taxes. Yeah, it's taxes. not that important. No, who? Um, I mean, that's a, that's an extra afterthought of being a government. <laughs> I mean, the point is, though, just going through, and obviously we have like a little bit of a sarcastic flair here, but this is very serious, um, and we do take it seriously. But the fact is, is it's when <laughs> things that are this big of a deal happen, you almost kind of have to you know, shake your head and, 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 and laugh a little bit because otherwise it's just like, you know, it's, it's, it's too much. And that's the whole point of what we're doing with these videos, um, with this information is just trying to make people aware that, Hey, this is, this is a real thing. This is a real threat. I also thought it was interesting that, um, a lot of times when we think of, or at least me personally, 
when I think of like ransomware attacks, cyber attacks, um, and it, it's usually, I usually think of the threat of, you know, leaking, you know, personal, like, what is it? PPI or PII, personal identifiable information, um, that type of stuff, um, or, you know, financial information, whatever. But what's so interesting about this is not only are they leaking this information, but also they're using that leverage to make threats to civil unrest. Yes. That that's another, <laughs> it just shows you like how much. It's a whole different level, right? Yeah. It's a whole different, I mean, I haven't seen this before either, right? This is a whole different level. Like normally you're thinking, okay, so they're just trying to get some money. But now they're actually saying like, hey, you know what? If you don't um, pay up, we're going to overthrow the government. What? You know, talking about actually like something that would affect every single citizen, every single person who lives inside that country. That's astonishing, right? Usually the we think of ransomware attacks as affecting a small group, a company and their customers. But this is talking about an entire country. And that's just insane. And we, we've talked about this before, about how things are getting worse. They're getting bigger. The threat is more credible. It's 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 larger than ever before. And here we are. We're watching just an enormous attack after a year of enormous attacks. So it just goes to show the trend is going in one direction, and that's up. And things are only getting worse, and people only have to take this more and more seriously. And unfortunately, it's only going to have a bigger impact on your everyday citizen. 2021 said 37% of all businesses in the world had experienced a ransomware attack in the previous year. Guarantee that number's gone up. But even just thinking about that number oh, yeah. itself, 37% of all businesses in the world. I mean, that's enormous. So, so to think that this isn't going to happen to me is really is, is a irresponsible way of, of thinking as a business, as someone who's, who's responsible, not only for the, you know, your own welfare, but the welfare of all your employees, um, and, and, and their families who, who depend on your business, uh, as well for their livelihood. Yeah, absolutely. I grabbed another uh, article here along those lines from the International Business Times. And it says Russian, the Conti group is, a, is, is actually a Russian group. It says Russian hacker group has earned 150 million from 1,000 ransomware attacks worldwide. $150 million. Do you think it's successful? Do you think these attacks work? I mean, that, that's, that's an insane amount of money. And it's doesn't, you know, this is not a lot of people who are involved in this, right? This is a group of individuals. You could probably count all of them on one or two hands who are involved in this. And they're making a tremendous amount of money doing it. So there's an incentive to do it. You know, there's a real incentive here to go after uh, businesses, uh, government organizations, any kind of institution that uses computers that hasn't done what they ought to do to protect themselves and uh, ransom them because you can make a lot of money doing it. Right now, there's a reward out, by the way. Um, looks like the United States, uh, the FBI is um, offering a reward for up to $15 million for information on Conti. So, hey, I'll say this is another way to make some money. If you know anything about who Conti is and how they're doing things, you could make $15 million. Uh, It's not too shabby. Yeah. <laughs> but what a... What a mess. Yeah. So obviously, again, this is a big deal. It's happening. We're trying to get get this information out here, make businesses aware, get, give you some resources. There's, we have other videos out there that talk about things that you can do. Um, par, uh, Travis, you always talk about, you know, partnering with someone um, who, who partnering with someone who knows their stuff, who could be helpful with you, educating yourself, which is part of what these videos do. Um but again, the point of this, and actually we can even sum it up. Let's wrap it up, Travis. Let's make IT simple. What can we learn from what we've seen happen with this cyber attack on Costa Rica? The threat is real. It's, it's, and it's growing, okay? And it can affect you personally. So everybody's got a responsibility. Every single uh, business owner, anybody, even just personal, just you as a person, you have a responsibility. Secure your information. 
you know, use uh, good, robust passwords, turn on multi-factor authentication, get some security awareness training, watch videos like this, educate yourself a little bit. You don't, I mean, obviously we're all busy. We all have lives. We have a lot of responsibilities, but unfortunately this is now part of everybody's life and it affects everybody's life. And for some of us, we have a lot more control over this than others because some of us are business owners, right? Some of us are uh, leaders in organizations, if they're governmental, if they're nonprofit, whatever the case. And we have to lead by example here. So take it seriously. Everybody do your best to try to make things more secure because it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get harder. And cyber attacks are here to stay. They're not going away. <laughs>